Have you been ignoring these tiny LED lights on PCBs while trying to fix electronics? This video will show you why you should pay more attention to indicators on TCOM boards as they can be very helpful to you when troubleshooting problems with LCD TV screens. You'll learn that panel manufacturers are really smart going the extra mile to include these features to make troubleshooting faster and easier. This 32-inch generic TV model came in with a very usual problem. In it is a common CHOT panel. As I supply part to it, I noticed this indicator came on. That naturally tells you that panel VCC, which is 12 volts, is present. However, you'll be surprised to learn that this indicator functions differently from what you find inside Samsung panels of this generation. See, many Samsung LCD screens TCOM boards generally have about three indicators, one for 3.3 volts, another for AVDD and a third for other voltages like half AVDD or 1.2 volts. How do they work? When you power on this Samsung LCD screen and panel VCC is supplied, it goes through some filtering and then enters the DC-DC IC, which then generates 3.3 volts. So if the TCON has an indicator for 3.3 volts and the voltage is present, the indicator comes on. The same happens to the other indicators. When the panel powers on well, with AVDD and all the other voltages present, all the indicators turn on. That's the story for Samsung Ticom indicators. But for this CHOT panel, it's a different story. Troubleshooting this LCD screen is pretty easy too. When you take a reading of the voltage at the indicator, you get 12 volts. So you might quickly conclude that the indicator's function is to show that panel VCC is present. Now comes the interesting part. The TV came in with a blank screen, no picture symptom. After troubleshooting and checking for vital signs, I detected just 2 volts instead of 15 volts at AVDD. That led me to locating a short at power to gate. After fixing the short and powering on, guess what happens? Instead of staying on, the indicator only flashes briefly. Now what conclusion can be drawn from this? Wait until you see the display. So it turns out the green light isn't a running OK signal but a fault indicator. Hmm. So the next time you're working on this CHOT panel, even without knowledge of what the problem is, you know that when the indicator only flashes, the TCOM power circuit is OK. But if it stays on, then there is no picture on the display. Well guys, if you found value in this tip, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next screen.